Hello YouTube, this is MT Shark 7 here, and uh, this isn't no pickup video or anything, but uh, more of a collection video. What I did with my collection, I um, put box covers, is it box, box, box protectors, on uh, my complete in box games. So I figured I'd show my uh, complete in box collection for N64 and Super Nintendo. So, well, obviously, the first one I picked up, I got Perfect Dark. This was my original copy. I didn't buy this after I sold it or back in the day. And it's still in pretty decent shape. So there's that one. I really don't have that much N64 or uh, Super Nintendo games, so the video will probably be pretty quick. I'm going to do another segment with feature my complete in box at NES games, so yeah, that'll be probably the next video I make. I don't know when, maybe tonight or I don't know, somewhere down the line. Next up is uh, Doom 64. I mean, I, this box is in pretty rough shape, but I figured, uh, if it's in a box protector, it can't get any worse, right? There's all the stickers on it that when I bought it. And, uh, Here's Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. I bought this brand new at Electronics Boutique when it was around. There's that. Still in mint condition. Like I try to keep all my collection. And then uh, here's my very first N64 game, GoldenEye 007. Still in mint condition. And uh this cheap game, NFL Quarterback Club 99. Yeah. Eh, nothing fancy about this sports title. And then I bought this brand new when they used to sell them brand new. Wipeout 64. There's that. Eh, nothing fancy. And then I bought this one. Last year? Cruising USA. This actually does not have the manual, so one of these days I gotta scrounge around and see if I can get the manual for this game. This is one of my favorite racing games for the N64. Still gotta get Cruising World and what, Cruising Erotica or Exotica, whatever the hell it is. And I got this one, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. This game is amazing and highly recommended. I think this game actually gone up in price. I got this at like Tunes, which is our like CD record store, I think for like 10 bucks. It's mint condition, boxing complete. And there you go, that was pretty short for my uh, N64 game. So move along to the Super Nintendo games. We have uh, Star Fox 2. Which is a repro, obviously, it's not the actual, uh, you know, this game never came out, but I bought the box for it. I have the, um, was it the white insert in there? And the game, which, the game's not in there, it's upstairs, but I don't have a manual. I tried looking for a manual, I could only find, like, a Brazilian one, so I don't know if they make a repro manual for this game, but if they have one, I guess I would like to pick one up if... Not too expensive. And now I got the original Star Fox. And now I'm working backwards here. This game I was so excited to pick up. I think I got this for like 20 bucks. Oh my gosh. Seven years ago on eBay? There's that. And then I picked up Final Fight. I would still like to get, I think there's what? Two other Final Fights, Final Fight Guy, and like Final Fight, I think two and three maybe, maybe oh, maybe there's three more, I don't, I don't know, but I would like to pick up the other ones, the complete in box if I can, I know they can get rather pricey. And then we have Tetris Attack. I don't even know if this is coming in frame because of the, the box protector, but I don't know, hopefully it... This camera doesn't act up. And maybe 
YouTube will fix it. And, um, and I have uh, Donkey Kong Country. And there's the back, which everyone knows and loves. Side there. Nothing fancy. And you know what, I might as well keep that trend going and uh, move on to uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Now when I picked up, I have, well, spoiler, I have the third one, but when I picked up 2 and 3, I didn't have the manual, and I actually found them both together on uh, eBay. I got them real cheap because the guy had to buy it, or buy it now slash best offer. So I, like, offered them, like, a, I pretty much, like, basically free shipping for it. What the heck is that? It's like a piece of hair? Jesus. So, yeah, so there's Diddy's Conquest, which is an excellent game. Probably the best out of the series. I still haven't played the third one. Me and my friend, actually, were, were uh, going through and beating them. We beat the first one, and then we were starting to work on this. I think we got to the end of the second one, but we never actually beat it because he's been busy. He's, he has a job now, and I don't know, he's been just too busy with that. We hasn't gone around to coming over to finish that up. And then next up is Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie's, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. So there's that one. Which, I don't know, I, people, I hear mixed reviews of this one. Some people say it's not that great. Other people say that's like the best one of the series. I uh, me, I'm going with the popular demand and saying the second one is. So I never played it, but I may change my mind. Who knows? And uh, next up is uh, Home Alone, which I totally forgot I had. This box is kind of beat up, but oh well. Here we got Punch Out. Oh, yeah, super punch out, I mean. Never really got a chance to actually sit down and play this yet. But, uh, this was the, basically the game that got me into getting box protectors for my collection. Because the person I ordered this from, it came with a box, uh, a box protector for it. But, which was weird when he, the one he gave me, it was kind of, box protector was like a little bit higher. Then, uh, like this one is pretty much like, like nice, like, fit like a glove, but the box protector he gave me for this game, it was a little bit higher, like on the top and like on the side, so I just, I just threw that like in my, in my, uh, bin of like all my dust covers and stuff that I have, you know, I may use it, I'll probably use it to like, I figured I'd replace it with the ones I bought off eBay, just so they're all the same. I feel, I think it would be kind of silly if I had all the, all my Super Nintendo games, like, in these nice fit box covers, and the one just, like, sticking up. That would be kind of weird. So, so yeah, I just swapped out the box cover for this one. And then last, but not least, is Wolfenstein 3D. I would like to get Doom complete in box. I do have the game. Just the game, that's it. But, I don't know. I haven't really, like, looked online to see how much the, the box and the manual and all that junk goes for for it. But yeah, here's Wolfenstein 3D. Got really far in this when I was playing it, and uh, the one boss was just ridiculous, and I just stopped playing it, and then I lost my passwords, and just haven't played it since. Every once in a while, I'll pick it up and play it, but not to, like, actually beat it. And then here's all my, I guess I have moved my loose cart games, like this one. This is, uh, this used to be a Kit 171's, uh, Fam Super Famicom game. What the heck is this? Drift King, Shotoku Battle 2, Taishukshia Kenishi. Oh, God, I butchered that like a freaking butcher in a meat shop. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, so there's that. I suck at this game. He apparently did good on it. I guess he knows kanji. I don't. Then we have the Super Famicom Cool Spot. And I guess I, I guess, I don't even know what time it is. Gosh. 
Hmm. I guess uh, I have some more time. I'll just throw out some you know, decent, loose games. Super Mario All Stars, Super Mario World. So there's that. One other notable titles. Uh, California Games 2. You guys watch uh, John Tron. He did a video on this. Which is funny because he does like the goofy stuff. Like he adds in like extra video which isn't in the game but it's kind of funny that like I like look for that when I was playing it like the one time the one uh was it the hang gliding or whatever the heck stupid events on there and the the woman's like tumbling down the mountain and I was like oh man does that do that no it doesn't do that it was like some photoshop thing he did um I have Mortal Kombat I have all of them how many ones are up here? One and three. Oh, 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 oh. there's two. Where the hell is Ultimate? Three. Okay. No, no. Castlevania four. What else? Killer Instinct. Eh, no one cares about that. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Def I think this is. I think this would rather. Uh, can't talk today. This would. I think this is a underrated game. Not that many people talk about it, but this is a very good uh, Ghouls and Ghosts-ish game, I think, in my opinion. And Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Mm, Super Game Boy, everyone's seen in my, uh, was it, uh, Game Hunting video number one. Ooh. Oh, here's a good one. Super R-Type. My second... Super Nintendo game I picked up. Pilot Wings. Oh gosh. Pilot Wings. Fallen Alien 3. That game was a little overpriced. I think I picked that up for like 12 bucks. And it should, should be a lot cheaper than that. And when I got it, like, there was like this black goo inside of it. And it took me like an hour to clean it. Should have asked for like a three dollar refund for cleaning it for an hour. Christ. Yeah. I'm too lazy to even look. So yeah, so that's uh my Super Nintendo um, N64 box, sort of complete in box collection minus the cruise in USA. Yeah, I think everything's everything has manuals. What? That's it. I guess uh, the next video will be my Nintendo complete in box. Well, that's all I have. MT Shark 7 signing out.